it's heaven. I love it. You're amazing. Hi guys, welcome in another video. If you've been following me on my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I am the biggest fan of The Ordinary on the planet, I think. Um, I started using The Ordinary products um, over a year now and since that time my skin has never been better and after using this product for around 2-3 months my skin mostly cleared up and I haven't got any pimples for a really long time until now because of the face mask I have a little bit here and there but it's still nothing compared to how it was before and um, I actually made 3 million and one videos about The Ordinary brand so you can check here. So in today's video, I will share with you my ultimate 10 products from The Ordinary Brand that are good for the acne prone skin. But before we move on to the video, I would like to kindly ask you to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified about all of my videos and also my channel can grow and that would be amazing. It's my 2021 goal to reach 20,000 subscribers. So, you know, if you have a spare, a second please do it and yeah let's move on to the video first product that I cannot live without is my retinol and I've made a video about retinol here so you can check it here if you want to know all the details about how retinol works but basically retinol is the holy grail in every skincare if you are under 20 to 23 years old um, and even if you are in your 20s um, you can start using retinol to prevent um, pre-aging and also to clear your face clear your scars everything you want to get rid of obviously and if you want to have a beautiful um, young and clear face as long as possible this is the way to go and of course um, this one is a retinol 1% in squalent and the ordinary currently has a lot of different retinols and a lot of percentages and I started with um, retinol 0.5 and now I'm currently using retinol 1% because as you know with retinol you need to go sort of upper you cannot start with 1% or 2% because you can experience purging which happened in my case because I started using a different retinol with a higher con concentration um, in the very beginning of my journey and I purge and it was horrible and it was nasty so if you want to avoid purging please start with as low as percentage as possible but even if you can still experience purging because it's natural and this is just it's just what happened but you need to be prepared that you will purge for two three months and then it will be gone and your skin will look much better than it ever looked before so this is the retinol one percent i love it i'm obsessed with it and this is definitely my number one product from the ordinary and the second place going to ta -da, the coughing solution five percent plus e EGCG. Not really, I'm not really aware of what EGCG is, but this product works magic. I also made a video about this one. I had a really bad dark circles around my eyes and I've been trying a few different products with vitamin C that didn't really help me. And then someone recommend me to try this coughing solution and after two weeks I start realizing that my eyes are looking so much better than they were looking before and now after using it for three or four months um, I genuinely I don't really have that much of a dark circles anymore and I'm using this product every second evening and every second morning and I'm switch it with a vitamin C cream and this is really it's heaven I love it mm -hmm. You are amazing. And it's also super affordable. As you know, all the products from The Ordinary are extremely affordable. So if you're struggling with dark circles, this is a product for you. Now let's move on to number three on my list, which is Niacinamide 10%. And this product is so popular at the moment. I think like there's no skincare YouTuber who haven't done a video about Niacinamide because it is amazing. Niacinamide works very similar to how retinol works but it's way more soft and it's not as harsh as the retinol is so even if you have dry skin or if you have very sensitive skin you can still use niacinamide and you can make sure that your skin will be clear, your large pores will be minimized, um, your clogged pores will be unclogged, your wrinkles will disappear, your sebum will start fading and you won't be that shiny. So yeah this is an amazing product but still you need to remember that if 
your skin is very sensitive and very dry, even after using niacinamide, you can experience purging. It is how it is. And this product you can use either in the morning or in the evening, so it's really up to you. But of course, as with everything from the ordinary and just everything in general, you need to use sunscreen because if not, you can experience irritation. And that's what we don't want. No redness, no irritation. Anyway, niacinamide, highly recommend. I really like the consistency, super gluey, and I'm almost done as you can see, and um, I'm using a different one right now, but this was a really good one. So if you're looking for a niacinamide to start with, this is, this is it. And now we're moving on to number four. And number four, weirdly, is a foundation. I know, I ordered this one just to test and just to make a YouTube video and just see how it is, but I would never, ever, ever thought that the foundation from The Ordinary will be that great. And guys, I ordered this foundation in the end of May. And it's not like, obviously, I'm using makeup every day. Let's say I'm using makeup every three, two days. And I can still hear that it's like more than a half left, which is amazing. It was extremely cheap and I love the consistency and I love how my skin is looking like after because it doesn't look very fake. It looks very natural, but still it covers everything that I want to be covered. And I feel like the skin looks so much healthier and glowier than um, with a different foundation and it doesn't feel that, you know, heavy. So it's a really good foundation and I will definitely order another one when this one will finish, but you know, assuming I will say that it will be another five to maybe even six months of this one. And I'm using the color 21P medium with pink undertones. And this one already has an SPF um, inside, but it's just SPF 15. So I still need to remember to use you know, another SPF underneath. I can highly, highly recommend this foundation. It's genuinely one of the best foundation I ever used. It's not like I'm a makeup guru, you know, um, but yeah, from, from what I experienced, this one is definitely the best. And then we moving on to something that I also really, really love and it's the AHA plus BHA peeling solution. And in this product, we have 30% of AHA and 2% of BHA. And this is, it's amazing. And to be fair, um, I ordered this product around five months ago, maybe four months ago, because I was a bit scared that it would be too harsh for me but it is definitely not. Of course, you need to be careful with using this peeling solution because it's not something you use every single day. And you really need to remember to don't have it on your face for longer than 10 to maybe maximum 15 minutes while you're taking a bath because otherwise, again, you can experience irritation and redness. But if you have normal um, combination acne prone skin, this would definitely help to clear your face and to make sure that all of the discussing pimples it will just slowly disappear. As you know, AHA and BHA are great when it comes to fighting with acne and cleaning your skin and this is just a, this powerful combo that also looks like blood on your face. I also made a video about this one so you can check it here. But I genuinely love it and I will definitely order it again once this one will finish. And it's also super affordable. So highly recommend that one. As well. And now we're moving on to my rosa hip oil. And this was this I think this is my third or fourth uh, bottle at the moment, but this was the first oil I ever used on my face because before I thought that you know using oil would just make me look even more oily, which is definitely not how it is, and I was just uninformed at that time. And then I just did, you know, a bit of a search on the internet and I decided to purchase this 100% organic cold press rosy hip oil. And I'm usually using that one together with the retinol. So first I'm using retinol and then I'm putting this rosy hip oil on top. And honestly, the next day when I'm waking up, my skin is still hydrated. It still like feels really nice and really moisturized and hydrated. Another product that I also ordered just 
clearly from curiosity was this um, multi-peptide serum for hair density and to be fair I didn't really know if it's going to work and how it's going to work because I was like what how be you you know like this is a skincare brand like what do they know about um, hair but I've been using this product as you can see I'm like here so I've been using it for around three to four months I'm not using it every day I'm usually using it around once a week but I can definitely see um, the improvement in my hair. There's definitely not a huge difference, but I can feel that they are a bit thicker and definitely a bit more shiny than they were before. And it's so easy to use it. You just put a few drops on a dry and clean um, scalp and then, you know, you're good to go. You can either go to sleep or you can move on with your day and your hair are now getting more oily or anything like that. Because usually when you put something on your hair, your hair are getting more oily, but in this case, it's not like that. So if you're looking for a good hair serum, I highly recommend that one as well. And the bottle is pretty, pretty big, no? So you can use it for a really long time. Number eight on my list is the Salicid Acid 2% Mask. And again, I've made a video about this mask. I've been using this salicid acid mask before I started using the peeling solution. And salicid acid is basically the same as BHA. So it just penetrates underneath your skin layer to make sure that um, all of the bacteria are killed and the pimples that are going to, you know, came out, will came out much faster. And so your skin will be cleaner and clearer and it will be acne free after using it regularly. That's how it was in my case. So this mask is really good. You can use it from one to twice a week. But the only thing I don't like about this mask is that it's just black and everything around me is black. My bathtub, my sink, everything is black. So that's something I don't really love about this mask. But when it comes to how it works, it really works well. So I can highly recommend this mask as well. And then we have another two products that I don't have it with me right now because they are finished and the first one is the glycolic acid toner and again there is a video here so you can have a look i really like this toner it's an aha toner which is a glycolic acid toner which basically works on the surface of your skin to make sure that your skin is extra clean and all the you know things that you want to get rid of will be getting rid of. And this is a toner that I'm now using every single day. I'm usually using it three to four times a week and I'm trying not to combine it with any other acid. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a good toner for acne prone skin, it's definitely, definitely a way to go. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the Squalling Cleanser from The Ordinary. And I also been talking about this um, cleanser um, and I don't feel like it is the best cleanser overall, um, but it's definitely very convenient. It's very soft and very creamy and after using it, your face is not left out like dry or anything, um, which I really appreciate. And I really like the packaging because the packaging is really small, so you can travel with it. And this is my go-to traveling cleanser. So wherever I go abroad, I will always take this cleanser with me and it really really works well and yeah that's it for um, today's video let me know what you think and let me know what are yours um, favorite um, ordinary products and let me know if maybe any of the products I showed um, is also your favorite product and if you have any other ideas on what videos would you like to see on my channel also let me know in the comment section down below and um what don't forget to subscribe, uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to check out my TikTok, my Instagram, all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!